Right, let's bring in tonight's panel, Liberal Senator James McGrath and Sky News commentator Jason Morrison. Welcome to you both. We're going to come back to the big story of Peter Costello in a moment, but let's start with what I was just speaking about then. James, the Prime Minister says his government is stable um, and that he has looked after people. Uh, there's increasing speculation that he will have a reshuffle. There were reports by Sam Maiden just today that what could spark that reshuffle is Bill Shorten taking on uh, an ambassadorship perhaps in Paris. Well, I've spoken to very good sources close to Shorten who say that he's not interested in an ambassadorship, he has no intention of going anywhere. So, you know, it, it, at this point, perhaps it could be Linda Burney retiring, but at this point, it doesn't look like Albanese is going to admit that he needs a reshuffle based on the incompetence of Andrew Giles. The, the issue here is not just the incompetence of Andrew Giles, it's the weakness of Albanese. It's the weakness of a Prime Minister who is letting Australia slide into economic mediocrity and allowing Australians to not feel safe because of an immigration minister, quite frankly, who we would not trust to operate a toaster or, or a kettle. He should have been <laughs> sacked weeks ago. Australia is not safe because of that man and the buck stops with the Prime Minister. He is a weak Prime Minister. Jason, what do you think? I mean, clearly Albanese is presenting this as some sort of stability in his government, the fact that he refuses to move on an incompetent minister. He mm. compares himself to John Howard. Well, what do you make of that comparison? I'm still getting over the toaster and the, and the kettle analogy. <laughs> um, you know, it's interesting. What a barometer for success. I'm doing well as a Prime Minister and my government's pretty good because I haven't sacked a couple of imbeciles. That's the barometer for success, according to the Prime Minister today. It's not washing with people. Um, I, I think, you know, to suggest that, uh, you know, people don't want diplomatic posts is also laughable. I've not met a politician that doesn't want a diplomatic post. Perhaps, uh, uh, Senator, uh, you might want to tell me if you wouldn't mind one too, if it was tucked your way. Um, it, it's a joke. It, it's nah. a joke of a, of a thing. All right, there you go. You're off the hook. But the, the joke of this is to say that the only thing that is the indicator of how well or not a government is going is by how many ministers you've had to clean out. Um, history will reflect that the most successful government in terms of being re-elected uh, probably since the, the, the kind of deep dark 60s was the Howard government. And yeah, a lot of ministers got chopped, a lot got turned and burned. That happens. That doesn't mean a government's no good. It means the bloke in charge has got good gut judgment and can get rid of the drop kicks. Yeah, well, John Howard responded to those allegations or, or those criticisms from Anthony Albanese today, as you just heard.